Court has given state officials the green light to continue valuation of properties belonging to businessman Alfred Agbasiwoyeme. The state is currently trying to retrieve some 51.2 million cities pay the businessman, which the court has held was illegally paid. Mr. Woyeme has already paid 4 million cities, but is currently facing oral examination as the Attorney General has described the amount as poultry with remaining payment not, not, not forthcoming. The exercise is to enable an identification of properties belonging to the businessman. Mr. Woyeme on Monday challenged the legality of the valuation of some of his properties, saying the act is not backed by law. Delivering his judgment, so Judge Justice A. A. Benin described the application as lacking merit. Joseph Akable has more in this report from the court. So there were two issues that were to be decided by the court, presided over by Justice A. A. Benin. And the first one had to do with a businessman challenging the legality of valuation of his assets, with the second one having to do with a motion he was supposed to move for a halt of the oral examination. The latter was not moved as uh, the judge raised some concerns about the rates that had been brought before the court. The concern really had to do with whether they wanted a three-member panel to hear the matter or they wanted the sole judge, Justice Bain, who was hearing the oral examination to be the same judge to hear the matter. Because of the lack of clarity, a Justice Bain directed that lawyers for the businessman write to the Chief Justice seeking for direction on the matter. The court, meanwhile, proceeded Proceeded to deal with the issue of valuation of the properties belonging to the businessman Alfred Agbisi William. Justice Benin dismissed that challenge of the legality as saying that it was lack, it lacked merit. And the reason the court gave was to the effect that uh, when the state issued the first rate action that some properties of the businessman be attached, that was carried out on the 9th of January 2015. As was explained by Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Yebu Adami, the court agreed with him that on the 6th of January 2016, a second rate was issued. Now, the Justice Benin explained that since that second rate was issued before expiration of the first rate, it even rendered the second one ineffective as per the attachment provided by the registrar of the High Court that appeared they acted on the basis of the first rate that was issued and granted by the court. Uh, so for on that basis, he said it lacked merit. The concern again that officers of the High Court issued the rates rather than officers of the Supreme Court. Justice Benny did explain that it was because the Supreme Court didn't have the machinery to undertake that exercise. So even though officers of the High Court issued the rate, they issued it under the express orders of officers of the Supreme Court, making it an act of the Supreme Court and not an act of the High Court. Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Diabu Adami, who has some reservations about the actions of the business, which he describes as all efforts aimed at delaying the state's attempt to retrieve the money, raised those concerns when he addressed the media, but he vowed the state will go after the businessman's properties once they identify them. Uh, Joseph Akabli with that report there. Well, Deputy AG Attorney General Godfrey Yebu Adami, while expressing concern about what he calls delays by the businessman, has vowed that all properties belonging to Mr. Woyeme will be attached, attached once it's identified. And, but I can assure you that nothing whatsoever will hinder the state in its effort to recover the money. Uh, these are all ploys that will be swept away. No impediment whatsoever that is placed in the way of the state by Mr. Woyeme will prevent or hinder or obstruct the state from recovering the money. Surely the day of reckoning will come, as I indicated earlier on. Are you satisfied with the pace? Yes, I think that the judge has demonstrated some agency. Um, today is my agenda to judge the 30th of October, and I think that it's, it's, it's not too bad. Um, it, it's good. So what are we expecting on the 30th? Examination of Mr. Wilme. That will continue. As the judge indicated, that's a business for the next agenda date, 30th October. We'll have him in the box. If he doesn't come, the next few consequences will follow. Mm. Uh, the, the By consequences, what exactly do you mean? Well, don't worry. Um, I'll, I'll keep it under my sleeves. And, and when we come to court, we'll roll it out. The, the court dismissed an application seeking yes. to stop the valuation and, and seizure of some of the properties of Mr. William. Um, now that the case has, the application has been dismissed, are we going to see more of his um, properties being seized? Yes, yes. yes. We, we, we're not leaving this to an intent at recovering or identifying all the assets owned by him. And we still continue in those efforts. We're still making the extra inquiries and searches. And I believe that when we come to the relevant discoveries, the public will hear about them.